David Smith here with one more Flip Classroom Math lesson. Three tips before we start. First, remember that you can adjust the playback speed faster or slower as you desire. Second, you can pause the video at any point to jot down some notes or write down some questions for our next class. Lastly, you can turn on the captions so you can read my words go by on the screen. Today's lesson covers the binomial distribution with a kind of an interesting type of a problem. So this is when you know the probability and you need to find the number of trials necessary to achieve that probability. So let's take a look at a situation that requires this kind of thinking. We've got a box of flowers and there's other kinds of flowers and there's also roses. So the probability of picking a rose from the box is one quarter. Doesn't really matter how many are there. We just know that if we reach in and pick out a rose or a flower, it's got a one quarter chance of being a rose. How many trials are required to get a 0.95% probability of getting at least one rose? So you're gonna to have to pick more than one flower to achieve that 0.95% probability. So before we move on, there is an assumption that's not mentioned in this problem. Pause the video and see if you think you can figure that out. Okay, there has to be replacement. Otherwise, we need to know how many flowers are in the box and then we'd have to do counts because the probabilities would change. So remember all your assumptions about binomial distributions and probability. One of them is that the events are all independent. So it's always gonna be a quarter probability that you pull a rose out of the box. Okay, let's take a look at our notation. Here's our random variable x binomial distribution. N, number of trials. We don't know how many trials it's gonna to take to achieve our destination probability. We do know the odds of success are one quarter. So what we're looking for is the probability of getting at least one success. That's one or more. So R has to be one or more. Now there's something else you can think of here that's gonna greatly simplify this problem. Because to do this, we'd have to do R equals one, then R equals two, then R equals three, until we finally added up our probabilities and got to 0.95 or better. But there's a quick solution to have to only do one calculation to get the result. Pause the video and do that. Let's see how you did. So as you recall, um, we only have one probability that we're not considering here. That's no trials. We can't get a result with no trials. So basically we can change this, r equals one, to the probability of one minus r equals zero, zero successes. So that works out pretty well because then we only need this term, we only need one calculation for our result, okay? So now I want you to pause the video and take a look at your formula for calculating probabilities using the binomial distribution and do a plug-in step with this information and come back. All right, here's my plug-in step. I did my one minus my probability for no successes. So that's n, we still don't know n, but there's zero successes. Here's the probability of a success to the zero power. Here's the probability of failure to the n power. And then this has to be greater than or equal to 0.95. So now I want you to pause the video and see how far you can simplify that. All right, I broke this out into a little sub-step to remind you of how to evaluate something when there's a zero at the bottom. You might have looked at that and gone, how do I figure out what that is? I don't know what n is. Well, watch what happens. So just looking at the combinatorics n, zero, we do n factorial over zero factorial times n minus zero factorial. So you'll remember zero factorial is one, so we have n factorial on the top. Now, n minus zero is just n. So we have n factorial on the bottom. So that gives us one. So go ahead and pause the video and finish the plug-in step, not the plug-in step, but the calculation step for this inequality. Let's see how you did. So this just becomes one minus one, that's one, one fourth to the zero power is also one. So these two terms just go away. And we have one minus three quarters to the n power equals 0 0.95. Now, to finish this, you're gonna need to take a logarithm to figure this out. So go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, before taking the log, we can simplify this out. I'm trying to get n alone, because we're solving for n. We need to know the number of trials required to get that 0.95% probability. So check this out. All I did is I moved 
the negative 3 quarters to the n to this side and change it to 0.75. So I added that term to both sides. And I subtracted this term from both sides to get this over here. So now I have 0 0.05 is greater than or equal to 0.75 to the n power. So now we need to remember how we solved equations using logs. And remember, logs come into play when you have unknowns or variables in your exponents. So check this out. I can take the log of both sides. So I can do log 0.05 greater than or equal to log of 0.75 to the n. That's all I did. I'm just taking the log of both sides. That's an allowed operation. Now, there's a certain rule that allows me to take this n as the exponent and pull it out and make it n times log 0.75. So let's do that. Log 0.05 greater than or equal to n times the log of 0.75. So now I can divide through by log of 0.75 and have n alone. Now, if, you're, if these log rules don't seem familiar to you or you forgot them when we had them a year or two ago, I have plenty of videos on my YouTube channel that do have you solve equations with logs. If you want to reach out to me, I'll send you a link. Um, you can also browse the channel. So check this out. I need to divide both sides by log 0.75. But remember, have an inequality. So the inequality switches when you multiply or divide by a negative number. So you have to notice that log of 0.75 is a negative number. So think about your logs when you do that. So I'm going to divide by log of 0.75, and I'm going to have n. Let's just do it this way. I'm going to switch my inequality direction, and I've got n there, and I've got um, log 0.05 over log 0.75. So I divided through by this negative number, switches the inequality. So n has to be greater than or equal to log of 0.5 over log of 0.75. Now, pull out your calculator and do that. Now remember, these are base 10 logs, so you might need to make sure that your calculator is doing base 10. Do that calc and come back. So when I do that, I get n must be greater than or equal to 10.4. Woohoo! So I have my answer, or do I? Think about that for a minute. What is the answer to this problem? So the answer to this problem is that I need at least 10.4 trials to get a 0.95% chance of pulling a rose from this box. I can't do 10.4 trials. I can do 10 or 11. So I'm gonna need to go to 11 trials. Now my probability is gonna be a little bit more than 0.95, but that's okay. The question was at least 0.95. So I need to do this 11 times to have a 95% or better chance of getting one rose. Now that you've watched the video, jot down some notes, some questions, or a quick summary of the lesson. You can also re-watch the portions of the video that challenged you the first time. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. If you'd like to help me grow my YouTube channel, please click subscribe.